everyone, this is Issa Teese. I had somebody ask me about a week ago or so if I would please do some more information on predictions. She was going through a time where she was really needing to make some important decisions and she wanted some more 2017 kind of updates. So here's what it is that I am sensing, experiencing, whatever. And that is that 2017 is actually starting to blossom. Now, please remember that that's where we're at in the process of life, that we are having the extremes of polarity seem to be growing. So that means the most awesome things in the world are happening. And seemingly, some of the most devastating things in the world are happening. One of the trends that you can see occurring is that there's nowhere to hide anymore. And this is literally coming up, literally. We know that between Google Earth and all of the cameras that are everywhere, there is nowhere to hide with anything. There is virtually, it's virtually impossible to try to slip away and be invisible. Getting off the grid is a real adventure for people that choose to do that. So, of course, one of the things I would just put a little cab in there is don't do anything that you wouldn't care that somebody else knew about, but that's another whole story. So the point is that what's happening is deep into the crevices of what's happening in life is that people are being forced into a state of authenticity. That means that they are not able to hide. It means that all the stuff where you used to lie and you used to pretend and you used to kind of be sneaky and all those kinds of things, not working. You can see it in our government. You can see it in people that you know. You probably can see it in yourself if you're really honest with yourself. So what this means is there's a deep purging into each individual person. And that individual person is now being, for lack of a better term, forced into having that come up so they can look at it. So if you see something coming up in your life that you kind of wish you didn't know about and nobody else do you want them to know about it, then that's the place where you get to determine what it is that you'd like to do with that. Are you going to be okay with that and recognize that was the best place you were coming from at the time? Or are you going to hide and, and lie about it and, and smush it under or, or whatever? These are things that you get to really make a determination because everything that's happening in life is in your best interest. Remember, I always say the universe is always, always, always it's conspiring to bring you exactly what it is that you need for your next step in being the most awesome being that you can possibly be on the planet. So this is one of the things, deep core, and I'm going to add to that, that that includes your body. That means that into the cellular body, there is energy that is bringing up stuff that you have mm, hidden, for lack of a better term. And what that means is that you might be having little viruses come and go. They're kind of like a detoxing cleaning that is occurring for you. About also, also notice that there's emotions that are showing up out of nowhere. The other day, I was actually just kind of doing, I don't know what I was doing, but I had this like, this anger, this rage, and I felt snippy and all this stuff that I like virtually never feel that. And it was really pretty amazing to just sit back and observe. I encourage you to do that. When you get these, these strange feelings come up that you know are not necessarily associated with anything that's going on currently, then what you can do is you can just observe it, step back. And watch the energy as it moves through your body. If you do not attach a story to it, if you don't need to know where it's coming from or why it's there, then it will move through you because it's just like passing through or it's being brought up and released from cells. And that's just something that most people probably don't think about, but I encourage you to do that because we become ensconced in recycled ignorance when we have a feeling, we have a thought, and then we glom onto it and we make it just like so much more than it needs to be. And when we put attention to it, then we repeat it, we deepen it, and into the rut we go. So just something to think about. Another thing that I'm seeing right now in the planet is that commerce is going to really expand. Money is coming from everywhere. 
it's really, really an opulent year. This is the year that you can have the most opulent life ever. This is the year that you can have more money than you've ever had before. This is the year that your business can be more profoundly experienced in a way like you've never experienced before. This year is also, as we're moving forward, about creating new things. Step out of your comfort zone. Move up to a place where you are taking risks that maybe you've never taken before. Maybe it's time for you to totally consider, because the ease of the universe is with you, stretching out of your box. Where's your line in the sand? Know where that is and then step beyond it. So that means that if you spend your time looking at and working with what it is, 